that if you have never found something so dear and so precious to you that you will die for it, then you aren't fit to leave. Justin Bieber just spoke to the controversial edition of the MLK interlude on his latest Billboard 200 chart-topping album, Justice. During his first ever clubhouse room on Tuesday, March 30th, the global pop star said, I think for me coming from Canada and being uneducated and making insensitive jokes when I was a kid and being insensitive and being honestly just a part of the problem because I just didn't know better, for me to have this platform to just share this raw moment of Martin Luther King in a time where he knew he was going to die for what he was standing up for, Justin said he was willing to endure as much hate by putting that on the album, for the bigger purpose it serves in speaking to what justice looks like. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s But If Not sermon he gave at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia in November 1967 opens the entire project. You died when you refused to stand up for right. You died when you refused to stand up for truth. With the first five seconds of Justin's Too Much, pulling fuzzy audio of Dr. King reciting Injustice Anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere from his April 1963 letter from Birmingham jail. Injustice Anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Justin said the goal of including Dr. King's sermon was to amplify the late civil rights leader's incredibly touching speech, rejecting the common critique that the singer was attempting to be a white savior. He also addressed those upset about his choice to place the MLK interlude directly before his Dominic Fike assisted Die For You, a love song to his wife Haley Bieber. Justin explained, I'm not trying to make a connection between me and Martin Luther King. That's why I never try to talk about social injustice, or I didn't want to be the one to talk about it, because I just have so much more learning to do. But I have this man who was ready to die for what he believed to be true. If I'm not willing to face some sort of ridicule or judgment of people wondering my motives or whatever that is, for me, it was a no-brainer. For way more on the Peaches Artist Clubhouse Talk, head to Billboard.com. For Billboard News, I'm Jordan Rowling.